two, one, go. And the bots are off. We've got both Red Alliance bots and both Blue Alliance bots making it across the half line. 47.95 tries to secure a hatch panel to the Blue Alliance cargo ship, but doesn't quite make it. 48.29 also tries to secure a hatch panel as the sandstorm passes. It looks like it's secure. 68.99 heads towards the Blue Alliance cargo ship with a piece of cargo, but it bounces out. 47.95 adds a piece of cargo to the Red Alliance cargo ship, followed by bot 31.96. On the Blue Alliance side, 48.29 installs a hatch panel at the top of the Blue Alliance rocket. And 31.96 continues to add cargo to the Red Alliance cargo ship. Forty-eight twenty-nine adds another hatch panel. 31.96 adds another piece of cargo to the Red Alliance cargo ship. Forty-eight twenty-nine grabs another hatch panel from the Blue Alliance loading station. As thirty-one ninety-six grabs a hatch panel, and forty-seven ninety-five on the Red Alliance side, installing it into the front of their alliance's cargo ships. Forty-eight twenty-nine tries to bounce off that second hatch panel as it maneuvers towards the Blue Alliance rocket. We've got 68.99 on the Blue Alliance Hab. 47.95 tries to bounce a piece of cargo into the Red Alliance cargo ship, but it bounces out. Not fear, 31.96 secures cargo into the Red Alliance cargo bay. 30 seconds left, looks like 47.95 trying, might be trying to climb to cab level two. On the Blue Alliance side, 68.99 parking itself securely on the HAB. And 31.96 raises up to that third level. Will it be able to make it up? And it looks like it can as it raises up its back stilt. 48.29 parks securely on the Blue Alliance HAB. Scores are in, and the Red Alliance takes victory with a score of 52 points. This includes the first and second ranked teams.